Hi YouTube, um, I just wanted to make a short video about radiation. I had posted a picture to my Facebook page of my radiation mask and um, people were like, wait, how does that work? So I'm just going to do a short video to kind of explain it. So this is what radiation is like. No, I'm just playing. That's not radiation. Um, this is actually my mask here. I brought it home from the hospital. It's got snaps on it all the way around. And basically it's fitted perfectly to my face and when you're laying down on the table they just like snap you in so you cannot move and like where all these blue spots are that you see that's like the markers for where all they radiated and most of my hair fell out around that area but I have some loss in the back from chemo too um, so I just shaved my hair um, but yeah radiation is different for everyone um, I talked to one of my girlfriend's husbands and he said that when he was going through radiation for a brain tumor, um, his was like a childhood one. So I guess he didn't have to go through chemo or anything, but he did go through the radiation. And he said when he was on the table looking, um, he just like said that he felt like it just all was real. Like it was surreal to him. Like he just felt like everything hit him then. Um, and he wanted to cry. Me, I didn't feel so much like that. I was just kind of like ready to be done with it. Um, I knew every treatment that I was done with was one closer to being over with. So I would just kind of lay at the table and like stare up at the ceiling because there was like stained glass pictures and stuff to look at. And I would just like seriously count down in my head like one, two, three, okay, almost done. Because I was just like bring it on and let's get this done with. Um, chemo makes you sick obviously and everything. But yeah, so <clears throat> radiation is different for everyone. But it definitely makes you feel exhausted and tired and just... Um, terrible so does chemo so it's not natural there's nothing good about it like I definitely would not want to put radiation into my body it's definitely not a good solution um, and chemo is not a good solution either but unfortunately since we have no cure for cancer they have to take drastic measures to try to kill the cancer cells which is understandable but it seriously just feels completely like you're poisoning your body and you're just not well um other than that, like, I'm embracing being bald and stuff. Like, I really do not have a problem with being bald. I wear a lot of scarves and stuff and wigs sometimes. But, like, I really do not have a problem with, like, having no hair. So, if you look on the side, you can see that I'm completely bald here. And it goes back further. Um, I've been shaving my head and, like, right here, obviously, is thinning. But I don't know if you can kind of see, like, on the side... How it's thinning when it starts to grow out you can really see it um yeah and like my hairline's like super receding it used to be like up to here I don't know if you could see but it used to be like right there so now like I'm bald here and there and wherever but I'm totally embracing it I think everyone you know should embrace it uh hair does not make you who you are a strong woman can stand without hair and I believe that, you know, if you have a nice shaped head, it might be kind of cute on you. So, girls who are going through chemo and radiation, embrace it. Um, you're beautiful on the inside, and that shines through the outside. So, if you have a positive outlook on life and you're happy with yourself, that will shine through. And, you know, confidence and stuff makes a uh, person shine. So, girls, make sure that you feel comfortable in your own skin. Embrace it. Um... Be proud to be who you are, um, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of explain the process. So I will see you guys later, and I hope you guys are all doing well.